Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto Trader Network. My name is Chris, and today we're going to go over uh, Sphere Finance again. I'd like to do an update video. Um, there is a lot of discussion out there going on right now about Sphere. Um, they just did an AMA last week, and uh, some, some information came out about the uh, perpetual APR, and I think that kind of scared everybody. So I'd like to talk about that and uh, kind of go into uh, you know where I'm at with Sphere and what's going on. Um, so this is my current holdings. I'm at 46,000 Sphere. Uh, with a eighteen hundred dollar uh, you know holding amount, um, this is down a little bit today. Uh, we can go look at the sphere price, which is at oh four oh three four. It's down fifteen percent today. Uh, over the month total, we saw a, a high of eleven cents, and it has come down. These are normal corrections. I can completely understand, uh, you know, seeing, especially with how the market is, uh, you know, seeing these corrections. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are saying that they think that four cents is the floor plate, the floor, the floor price, and then it's only going to go up from there. Um, and that's fine. Uh, you know, I can go into my calculator spreadsheet, and this is available in the spreadsheet links below if you need it. Uh, but I have a rebase tokens uh, calculator on here on how much I bought, how much I uh, invest, or how much uh, I'm making, uh, you know, after uh, taxes and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so as you can see, Sphere was the first one that I got into. Um, I set the purchase amount to zero because I have pulled my initial investment out. Um, so I'm happy, you know, what are, where I'm at right now is pure profit. Uh, so that $1,800 we saw was pure profit. Uh, we can change the current price. I haven't updated this uh, spreadsheet in a couple of days. So 0 0.0403 was the current price. Uh, let's see how many tokens I had. Go back to Sphere again. 46086, it just rebased. 46086, there we go. Okay, so profit loss after after taxes. So this is after the 20% sell tax that's baked in already. I'm still at $1,300. And I gave away 5,000 Sphere in March. That was out of my personal uh, you know, tokens right here. And then I took 12,000 tokens profit, which was $500 including tax. So uh, it was like almost 600 total. Um, in, in sphere, uh, you know, in, in sphere tokens. So, um, like I said, I'm letting this one ride. If it goes to the moon, great. If it goes, you know, down to zero, I, I'm not really worried about it at this point. Um, and that's how you should be. You should, this, this thing's way up from, uh, you know, from, from anywhere, uh, you know, where it started. So, um, all the way up to 11 cents. If you, if it hit that 11 cent mark and you weren't taking profits out or at least trying to get your initial investment, then, uh, you should have been, <laughs> honestly. And that's something that I've learned in this DeFi space. Look at these other tokens. I never even had a chance to take a lot of these other, you know, with, with take profits out. Uh, I think I had one open over here, which was uh, Quantic. So with Quantic, you look at the 90-day chart and this launched high and it just kind of bombed down and it is pretty much just flatlined since then. And this one's still alive. Uh, you know, don't, don't get me wrong. This this project's still alive. It's not like OTO, which is completely dead. Um, you know, if I go back into my spreadsheet on OTO, uh, I paid $9 per token for OTO and it's down to 11 cents. Ouch. That one's done. You know, so that's a complete wash. I'll never get anything out of that one again. I put in 600 on that one. And you just have to realize that, you know, some of these are going to just be dogs. You know, they're not going to make it. Um, Sphere has done really well. And if you can take your initial investment out and then just, you know, make profits from there. Um, and I'm not saying stop there. Take profits more, you know, uh, or, or take more profits, you know, as it goes up. So, it, you know, set yourself limits. If it hits 10%, I'm going to take another 500 bucks out. If it hits, you know, 20 cents, then I'll take another thousand out or, or whatever. But you have to set yourself some limits and stick to them. Uh, and and be willing to to not just chase the moon and think oh gosh well if I take stuff out and it goes to a dollar I'm gonna lose money but no you, you you really can't do that you have to you have to have to have to take profits um, because if you don't uh, if the token goes down then you know you're upset and uh, and you're and you're kind of left holding a you know a worthless bag so. Um, I can't stress that enough. So that's like I said, that's one thing that I've really learned with DeFi is is try to get your initial investment back, and then after that, 
um, you know, do what you will. You want to gamble it from there? Cool. But uh, initial investment is key. Uh, anyway, so that's the calculator. Again, uh, there's a beans calculator in here and there's a bunch of node calculators uh, from when we were in node season. You are welcome to uh, download this. Just go to file and make a copy uh, and then you can update it with uh, everything else that you want. Um, I've got some other ones in here like Speed Force. I never even made a video on because uh, I, I tried to do the pink sale and get in early and bought it at 58 cents a token and it's down to seven cents so i mean you just you have to understand that some of these are not going to go they're they're not going to fly they're not going to make it and and so when we do have one that does well like sphere or titano um there's nothing wrong with that and there's no reason to butt heads and be like you know super fans and and think only one of them is going to take home the stanley cup yeah, huge hockey fan. Because, uh, you know, let's all make money. Why Why would we go against each other and say, well, Titano's better than Sphere, and Sphere's better than Safu, and yeah. You know, I hope that they all do amazing. I have no ill will towards any project whatsoever. Um, even these projects that I feel like have just absolutely bombed, like Speed Force and OTO, I, these, are, these are rug pulls. But, you know, I still have to hope that maybe one day, uh, six months from now, who knows, maybe they'll take some money, invest it into the treasury, or t I'm sorry, take some money out of the treasury and invest it and, uh, and, and start making, you know, the, the protocol uh, price go back up. Who knows? Uh, highly doubtful. But, you know, so you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> we got to try. Anyway, I'll close this out. So like I said, you're welcome to that. It is in the description below. It is called the passive income spreadsheet. Uh, so then there we go. So we've got Titano. Uh, yeah, same, so same thing. Titano uh, on a 90 day chart. Look, it's not it's not all sunshine and roses with Titano. They had a big falling off here too. And now they're coming back up. Uh, and that's great. Um, you know, they had a huge sell off right here back 14 of February. They went from, you know, 18 cents to 10 cents. What is that like a 25% uh, you know, cut. So uh, all of these tokens are going to do that. That's completely normal. It's healthy in the market um, to see a correction uh, or to have a whale dump or something like that and have it come back up. And, it, and look, Titano's come back up. It's, you know, we've we've been in a down market since, uh, you know, uh, late March here. So it's con kind of trending back down following Bitcoin, completely normal. Uh, and then we'll start coming back up. Bitcoin's on the rise today. Hooray. Uh, so, you know, we'll trend back up and I think that Sphere is going to do the same thing. Um, now, what I wanted to talk about as far as the perpetual APY, so we can go back into Sphere Finance over here. So right now uh, they're offering a 99,900% APY. Um, what they basically announced is that they want to uh, make the protocol uh, more sustainable um, they have about 100 days runway right now at 99,000 APY, another couple of weeks after that at 90,000 APY, and then after that they're going to have to go to perpetual. And what that means is a variable interest rate. So we've all heard of variable interest rates. I think perpetual APY kind of threw people off. Um, and all they're really saying is that they can't sustain a 99,000% APY. None of these protocols can. Not forever. That's just absolutely for the fact. They cannot do it forever. Okay, so there's a graphic over on uh, the Reddit about the perpetual APY. And, and you know, this is really confusing. And I think that was the issue is, is really they, they made it a little bit more confusing than it should be. Um, basically, what they're trying to say is, um, you know, considering the Treasury's growth, we can sustain the current 99,000 APY for more than 100 days. After that, it's going to go down to 90,000 for several more, more weeks. Then the perpetual adaptive APY will evolve up and down according to the profit returns in real time. So they plan on making investments with the Treasury. Um, and with those investments, they are going to still have a, a, a variable rate APY. So you're still going to make money off of uh, your sphere tokens. It may not necessarily be 99,000. Uh, you know, it may go all the way down to 10,000% APY, which is still insane. It's still like 1% a day. Um, or all the way back up to what it is now at, at 1.91% a day at the 99,000. Or it could go even more if they're making money with their investments and they're able to uh, to, to offer more APY. Um, so basically, they're just saying they're 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 having that option to reduce the APY to keep the project sustainable. Um, you know that is Sim's goal. He wants this project to last long term. 
term, we should all want the same thing for all these projects, Titano, Safu, uh, you know, everything. Um, you know, we want them to be sustainable because we will continue to make money with them in the long term. If we're just making money with them for the first, you know, month or two and then they die out, um, then we're not making as much money as we could have if they're compounding for like over a year. I mean, you've seen those calculators. Uh, the, the calculator shows that, you know, if you invest a hundred dollars and, you know, you have a million dollars by the end of the year, there's no way you can ever get to that if you don't maintain the sustainability of the project and keep it going. Um, so that's all they're trying to do is just keep it going. Um, you know, you may not get to a million, but maybe you get to a hundred thousand if it goes down to 10,000% APY. That is still far more than what you get out of your typical, uh, you know, uh, investment into say the S&P 500, which is like 10 to 12% on average for the past like you know i don't know 100 years or something like that um you know 10 to 12 percent it's okay it's better than the 0.01 percent you get out of a bank you know bank savings account um so you know 10,000 apy i'll take that all day long um you know uh, even other cryptos you know i i uh stake my uh you know my ethereum um into a you know a 2.0 staking pool and i'm making like 6.5 percent and I stake my Matic and Polygon and get all the way up to 12 and 14 percent. Those are some of the best, you know, uh, staking percentages you can get on on normal, you know, tokens. Uh, and it's still far less than what you can get out of these protocols. But, you know, if they're not sustainable and they just don't last for more than a couple of months, then you're not seeing that much profit. Um, so anyway, that's the whole point is to get the uh, the APY to where they're 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 making money with the treasury and they're able to pay out that that you know annual percentage yield um to all of our to uh, the token holders um as well as your token is still rebasing and compounding uh you know uh, so you're you're making more money on that as well uh and then as the price goes up which i think it will um then you're you're also making you know money that way so that's where the big money comes in is if we get uh you know a 10 cent 20 cent one dollar sphere price and you got in at one percent you know you 100 x and then on top of that you're also rebasing at that you know 10,000 percent APY going forward or 20,000 or you know 50,000 you know 100,000 whatever they can keep it at with the treasury um, then you're doing great so uh, again like I said I'm very bullish on this project uh, there's some other things that he announced uh, about like the galaxy store where uh, you know whales will be able to uh, you know bond sphere and it's not minting more tokens which is really good um, and some of that stuff is is still coming down the pipe so we'll, re we'll review that as we get to it but um, the, the big thing I wanted to touch on was this perpetual APY and, and I really want everybody to think of it more as a variable interest rate that's just a better term for it um, and, and like I said, uh, you know, I'm still doing great with Sphere, uh, still in the money. And as far as I'm concerned, unless this thing goes down to like two cents, I'm not going to take any money out of it because I've already taken out my initial investment. So, you know, if, if, if it falls below or at or below what your initial investment is, take it out. You know, take it out before uh, before you have any losses, if, if that's how you feel. Um, it, and if you want to, uh, you know, do the gamble and, and, you know, have already taken out your initial investment when it went up to, you know, 9, 10, 11 cents, which it has, uh, then then that's the smart move and just, you know, let it gamble after that. So, uh, again, you know, take out that initial investment, take profits along the way and you're doing great. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions on this, please let me know in the comments below. I would be more than happy to answer them. I always answer all of my comments uh, and, and I look at it daily. Uh, we also started a Discord, so if you want to pop in over to the Discord and ask me anything over there, it's completely free. Uh, so yeah, we uh, I, don't, I don't have many people in there yet. Um, but yeah, if you want to pop in there and say hi, please, by all means. Uh, again, uh, subscriber giveaway for this month is uh, 10 YDZ tokens, so make sure you are subscribed. Subscribed, like this video, it definitely helps us out, and you guys have a wonderful day.